<laughs> Hello and welcome to another Jet Vlog. Um, thank you for watching as always. Um, this is Jet Vlog number 12. So we're doing pretty good. We've covered a lot of ground so far. Um, but of course we've got many more things to talk about and uh, some of that is thanks to you. Um, some of your suggestions have been great and believe me I'm keeping note of everything and I will get to all of it eventually. But this morning I was in the shower. Um, I generally take showers. Um, the bath in my bathroom is very small <laughs> for me, and uh, but most Japanese people take baths, and they usually bathe at night, um, and I usually am a morning shower person. But anyway, this is really random and off the t subject, but um, I ran out of shampoo this morning. So it made me think, you know, I haven't talked about toiletries yet and uh, things like medicine, etc., that you might want to think about bringing. Now, this is pretty important. Um, there are many things that will make you feel a little bit closer to home while you're here, certain foods, certain clothes, and also having some of your favorite products, for lack of a better word, um, will also help you um, not feel quite so far away. Um, so let's just talk, I'm just going to go down a quick list here of things. Um, one of the big myths about Japan is that the toothpaste doesn't have fluoride and you know Japanese people's teeth is really bad etc etc this is this is mostly true <laughs> um, uh, dental hygiene here isn't quite up to at least American standards I can't speak for you know Australia or the UK um, I've heard many many reasons for this um, some of the floor uh, some of the toothpaste doesn't have fluoride this is also true you don't often go down the aisle and see other things, supplemental dental items like floss. Um, so I recommend bringing, you know, a big tube of whatever your favorite toothpaste is um, with you. Um, and for me also, the toothbrushes here, the heads are really small. Um, and I have big teeth. So I like a good full head on my toothbrush. So routinely I have my sister or my parents send me a reach toothbrush, you know, a package of three or four of them. Um, so, toothpaste and toothbrushes, um, floss, um, take care of your teeth. But you will get dental insurance as a jet. You can go to the dentist here. Um, shaving for men, well, and women too, although I'll talk mostly about facial shaving. Um, all that stuff is easily obtainable here. Uh, decent razors, okay shaving cream. I like something called Edge Gel that's in the United States. And that's a little harder to get here. Usually it's foam that, you know, they have here. Um, but you can get good razors. You know, they're expensive. Well, they're not that expensive compared to back home. Disposable razors, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, deodorant is widely available here. Um, some people feel it's kind of weak. Um, antiperspirant, I don't think, is quite as available here. Um, so if you're the type of person that gets pit stains and you're worried about that, um, maybe think about bringing a good size can of Right Guard or whatever it is that you use. Air it extra dry. Um, I don't have that problem. Uh, I know this is a little maybe too much information, but I did bring some good deodorant like Axe or something like that from the States. Um, something that smells like you want to smell um, because you would definitely need it in the summer. Um, I keep a small can of deodorant in my locker at school because literally, you know, I get that sweaty some days that you want to go in and freshen up. Um, soap and shampoo, again, this is a really personal preference. It's, you know, there's all kinds of hair care products here. Some are going to be names that you recognize, uh, Biore and Dove, etc. Um, I, I bought a huge, like, family-sized bottle of Pert the last time I went home, and that's lasted me a long time. Um, you know, if you have a particular need, like a Neutrogena or some kind of special needs shampoo, bring it. I mean, that kind of stuff. Or, if you don't have a lot of room in your luggage, have someone send it to you. Um, soap, you know, I, I kind of have my parents send me three bars of Irish Spring every now and then. But I use Japanese soap. It's fine. Um, if you have contacts, I've heard that the solution, like that you have to keep your contacts in here, is kind of weird. Um, but I have absolutely no point of reference. I don't wear glasses. I don't have contacts try to maybe email somebody in your prefecture um, and ask if that if you wear contacts so maybe bring an extra bottle of the solution um, with you 
Might not even be a bad idea to think about getting a backup pair of glasses or something to bring with you in case yours break or who knows. Because you will be a long way away from your friendly doctor or the prescription or such. Um, you know, if you have a favorite hair gel, mousse, facial scrub, anything like that that's going to make you feel like, oh, you know, it's nice that I can use this, bring it. I mean, you know, that's the kind of stuff, you know, just just bring it or, or like I said, have it sent to you. Um, if you're going to bring something electronic, the voltage here is slightly different than the States. I honestly don't know what the difference is between here and England. The main thing I brought with me to um, help me plug in some things is all the plugs here are two-prong. Um, so if you have something with two and a, and a ground prong, basically what I'm saying is a three-prong plug, buy, you know, go to any hardware store and buy an adapter so you can put that three-prong plug into another thing that has two prongs. Um, generally, the voltage here is fine. I run my computer off, you know, I plug it into the wall through that adapter. I have an electric, like, beard trimmer that I use occasionally when I grow a beard. Um, all that stuff works. If you have a hair dryer or something, it's not that big a deal. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, medicine. Medicine's a big deal. Um, because there are definitely certain things you're not supposed to bring to Japan. One of them, for instance, from America is over-the-counter NyQuil. It's too strong. It's got ingredients in it that you're not allowed to have in Japan without a prescription. So if for some reason they search your bags and they find NyQuil, I think the custom people would probably know what it is, they can take it from you. Um, one thing to know is that when you first come through customs at Tokyo, right off the plane, um, you generally won't go through any kind of rigorous check because you're such a big group of people and they kind of know and they kind of let it slide that first time. But when you go back and visit and come back as an individual, then you have to be a little bit more careful. Um, so for me, you know, things like... Alka-Seltzer, Rolaids, I like NyQuil when I get sick with a cold. Um, certain kinds of aspirin, strong aspirin, um, or like nighttime aspirin if you want something to help you sleep, if you get a headache, you might just want to smuggle these in. Um, contraception, uh, I, I can't really speak to that much. Um, I've heard that you should get some extra, like an extra supply of the birth control pill if you're a woman. Um, but I think you can easily obtain it here. I, I, I honestly have no idea if it's the same, etc. Um, if you're a guy and you like a certain brand of uh, condoms, I recommend bringing them. Um, you know, all the bad jokes, but um, from what I've heard from most people, the condoms here run a bit small. Um, tampons, again, something I'm not familiar with, but I've heard um, from girls, uh, from women, Jets, that... Uh, you should maybe think about bringing your own brand, that the Japanese ones are so-so. Um, okay, I think I've covered just about everything. If you have a question about a specific area of toiletries that I didn't cover, um, feel free to leave me a comment. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, so hopefully that kind of covers some things. Again, just either have someone ship it to you or uh, bring it. But I'll also discuss at some point in the future, there's things here that you can do to get products like these shipped to you. There's a couple things like the Foreign Buyers Club, fbc.com, and they ship all of these kind of products to people that live in Japan. They're a Japanese company that does this. So don't feel too bad, like you're never going to see them again. Okay, that's my time. Thanks for watching. More soon. Bye.